everyone myself sarita i am a 2023 mtech pass out from bechpilani hyderabad from microelectronics so from on campus placement i was placed in an xp semiconductor for the role of physical design engineer so presently it's been 1.5 years i have been working as a pd engineer in an xp semiconductor so just to do a hard job regarding what to write so uh, broadly we see lsi design there are two broad categories those are front end and back end so what front end guys do is basically they conceptualize the architecture and uh, use the languages hdl languages like verilog and ncsql to do rtl coding and then they verify those uh, functional structure whatever they have designed using the code to verify their uh, functional correctness yeah uh, so when the front end guys are done with creating the architecture then creating the functional design over you using those hdl languages and they are done with simulating and checking the functional correctness of the design then comes back into picture so our job as a physical design engineer is to convert that uh, functional available design from that matrix level to the final layout level that will be sent at the end of the tape off to the tsmc pack for actual chip fabrication our job is to uh, work on the matrix provided by front end team and to create a layout uh, by going through various stages such as floor planning placement routing then whatever layout is prepared we need to do power verification for that then we need to do physical verification for that do timing closure and at the end in all the criteria given by the constraints provided by tsmc are met at our side then we send the final gbs for manufacturing to the tsmc so all this process are just like a sub domains in physical design you can say based on those specialties we have a mini sub teams inside a major uh, physical design team and my job right now in nxp is to work on the power verification that is a pd and engineer which we also call it uh, call as uh, ir engineer so what i do is when i get the design from uh, after placement and routing is done by pnr engineers then we have a certain set of checks uh, to check for the power uh, performance and delay analysis the uh, some dynamic static runs some vectorless runs some ramp up analysis we perform those analysis and the designs uh, then we look if our specification and the outputs we are getting for, uh, for those designs are being matched if they are not matched let us say we have a certain criteria that power should be within such limit but we are getting a power above that limit then we optimize the design and based on our optimization analysis we give feedback to pnr guys to make some changes in their design and the iteration goes on until we get the final optimized design as per our company's requirement so yeah this is basically about my job role and just to basic intro for physical design so basic thing is if we don't have idea about how this placement and routing is being done then we'll not be able to check like which areas can be improved to meet our expectations so the basic thing is must for all the domains wherever you go you go in pdm you go in pd you go in sdf pnr but the basic thing of physical design should be uh, clear to everyone working in any of these four domains so regarding what how to prepare for these things that will cover up in later part so just me i'll just let me give you a practical scenario like if you need to build a building there are two stages first we draw the map we draw the architectures we just define where will be the electric and uh, connections how will be the pipelines everything that we prepared on map and later comes the actual scenario that we actually uh, build the buildings so likewise front end thing is everything that we do on a map Uh, compared to our building scenario and layout thing is like building uh, um actually building in a, in a physical environment so those guys who are very new to uh, pnr also basically all the stage that we are doing to uh, in physical design we were being done using some eda tools so now it's very hard that we'll be getting access to this eda tool in our uh, college level because those are like so very costly and mostly college don't provide those kind of tools so the actual exposure to eda tools those will be working on that will only get once you are in the company but you are working as a professional on engineer so we uh, we just need to know like what tools can be used at which stage but again to get started with working on the tools for the actual flow processes the basic whatever we learn for these four stages like floor plan, uh, floor plan placement routing and uh, 
this power optimization so i would say like at a basic level only your basics is much you cannot get the exact idea of what is actually happening in the real world scenario based on layout until and unless you start working on the eda tools so at pressure level what only we can consider is making our strong concepts based on layout layers and whatever physical design we are being taught in the college levels is so coming to my job role first when i was hired as an intern intern for this team initially my 6 month intern went into a uh, sta team so in sta team the first initial 3 uh, to 4 months all was my ramp up which was complete ramp up based on all these four domains that is complete physical design starting from the floor planning ending till routing uh, then i had a little background of how this prime time tool is being utilized to check for the timing concepts of uh, design how this timing closure things coming to picture a while tape or scenario is there and then when my full time job role starts uh, full time i was appointed uh, appointed in a pdn team so pdn team i had to again go from basics of pdn because in bachelors and masters level we don't have any actual background like what is happening in the real world scenario like what is pdn is because the pdn world was itself new for me so pdn uh, it took me around two months to get ramp up with whatever things are been going on in this project and then i started uh, in the real uh, block level analysis for the pdn uh, so coming to the opportunities in pd there are uh, coming to my company i would say there are basically uh, four sub teams in physical design that is pnr team pdn team spa team and pd team so pnr team it actually deals with uh, the synthesis the placement routing and flow planning steps that is very first step after we switch from front end to back end once this routing is done and design is uh, at raw level design is ready now this design parallelly go to spa team and this design comes to pdn team so, and then spa team and pdn team starts their analysis they work on their timing criteria or power and ir criteria we evaluate those designs based on our certain checks we check for whatever specifications we have been given by tsmc that this particular parameter should have this much values only and uh, if those values are getting violated then you need to optimize those design we have that criteria so we judge the designs we receive from pnr team then we verify it with the constraints we got from tsmc and based on that we optimize uh, analyze the design and provide the feedback again back to the pnr team from where we are getting the inputs then they look into their design they implement the feedback that are being given by pdn team and spn team and then after the feedbacks are implemented again we receive those designs again we perform certain checks and uh, like these these iterations get continued and once we are ready with a pdn and spa both uh, constraints are being met by pnr design that we are received then this design is passed to pv so pv is the certain profile which is physical verification uh, so certain checks like drc lvs erc lec those checks are being performed by pv team so pv can last into picture and once pv sign off uh, pv says that okay everything is verified and lvs check drc check yeah, lec check everything is clean then the design is good to go for uh, tsmc this is the exact flow so if you are looking for a pd profile you will be majorly seeing these four categories to prepare for pnr spa pdn and pd uh, maybe uh, for freshers uh, after this interview experience we can share like uh, what interview basics you need to learn for looking at the current scenario what i have understood from past 1.5 years is comparatively if we check for back end the opportunities are more for only pnr placement and routing engineers they have more opportunities and then comes spa then comes pdn and pv so if you look hierarchy wise in physical design specifically pnr will have highest vacancies then will come spa and then will come pd pv engineers and if you compare physical design that is back end compared to front end then obviously front end opportunities will be a little on higher note compared to back end it's not that it's a very much like 30 70 ratio is not there but a little bit higher opportunities will be there in front end uh, compared to back end but again it comes to interest if you are really interested in doing analytical work then you should try working in physical domain back end only if you are more into like uh, architecture and designing functionalities using those RT, uh, lgl language then you can consider moving to front end you should have a background like you should have 
gone through these critical design concepts at least once, even if you are at a bachelor's level or at master's level. And it's not specifically like microelectronics, even if you are sort of embedded, but you have that line, uh, knowledge, whatever is a uh, layout based knowledge and physical design basic knowledge, VLSI, uh, digital design knowledge. Then if you prepare well, still you can go from embedded or micro into physical design. Uh, make sure your basics is well, because I think pressure level in physical design, company does not expect that you will be knowing everything regarding tools and all the optimization techniques and all. No, they won't be expecting that. But what they need is at least you should have uh, that knowledge, basic knowledge which is uh, required to perform those checks and perform those flows to ideators. So yeah, nothing has such that analog and everything is required. Just basic, whatever we are preparing for interview, that is enough. And one more thing is, uh, what I have observed is, uh, master's people are a little bit on a higher edge to be hired for this 3D domain, whatever these analyzation techniques are there. Uh, so yeah, if you are masters, you will definitely have a higher edge to get into PD compared to the bachelor's people. Uh, so the next thing is, uh, I have seen very less number of pressures being hired here in TDM and TV people because they need people who have a certain experience already in those tools. So uh, it's very hard that you'll be hired in TDM or PV as a pressure. At least they need some, uh, at least one or two year experience. In TNR and SPA, you can easily be hired as a precious no issue. Almost whatever I could give for physical design, if you are preparing for a hard given, uh, just for some interview tips. Uh, some people think that we'll be putting very critical projects on the resume. It will pop up in, in front of the panelists. It's nothing like that. Whatever you are putting on the resume, just be 100 not. 200% sure about whatever you are putting on the resume. If you are not very aware of the projects you have done and you are still putting in your resume and if panelists come and asking your questions a little bit advanced compared to your project, it will not give a good impression. Whatever you are preparing, just put that only. And yeah, physical design is a very interesting topic. If you prepare it with interest, practically it's a visualization word because whatever shape we are actually getting in our devices we are doing the same fabrication of chip in computer the same stuff tsnc is doing in real world we are doing the same stuff in computers so yeah it's an interesting field prepare well and yeah go for physical design it's interesting all the best to all the pressures who are preparing